Huh? Yeah, go. Hey, this is CageJunkies.com exclusive. I'm here with up-and-coming Ohio fighter George Comer. George, thank you for taking time out to interview. Oh, no problem. Thanks for coming out to Griffin all the day and uh, you know speaking with all of us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Now, you're 9-0 and as an amateur getting ready to make your debut. Tell us a little bit about your fight, where you're fighting, who you're fighting, and when. I'm um, fighting August 27th in downtown Cleveland at uh, what is now the Jacobs Pavilion against the very tough Clint Muster. So, uh, very excited. I've been training for a long time. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to get in there. Well, George, tell the listening audience a little bit about you. What's your background in the sport? What led you to get started in the MMA? And what, what's your biggest strengths as you uh, head into your new adventure in your MMA career? Uh, well, uh, I can answer most of those questions by saying uh, i got a strong wrestling background. I've been wrestling since uh, seven years old. I uh, wrestled all the way through uh, Mount Union College. And then uh, when I finished up, my uh, friend Ryan Lotz was uh, coming up here and competing and having a good time. He talked me into coming. I told him I wasn't going to fight because I was scared, but he talked me into it. Jason talked me into it, and then uh, I guess that's that, man. So here I am today. So uh, best decision I ever made. Hey, transition from wrestling to MMA. What's, what do you think has been the biggest and most uh, most easy and difficult transition to make? Uh, well, I guess, uh, you know, striking. Uh, Jason, there's so many things uh, Jason and Donnie are always picking on before. You know, it's, uh, you know, straightening out the punches, you know, losing that wide wrestler, low wrestler stance, you know, and, get, you know, straightening out. So, I mean, it's not, you know, we're not boxing, we're not wrestling, it's MMA, so, you know, you got to be somewhere in the middle. So, finding a happy medium is something, you know, Jason's always working with. I always wanted to go far left with the wrestling. He's always like, you know, I got to see him out. So, uh, it's good. Well, how did you get started with Griffin Wall? I might want to say the best MMA gym in uh, Northeast Ohio. Jason, big plops to you. But I uh, wanted to say, how did you uh, get started with Jason and Donnie? Uh, well, again, uh, I got referred from my friend Ryan Lose. But ironically, and this is just by chance, these guys are a little older than me, but we are all from the same part of town. We're all from Montville and Something in the water out there. Something in the water out there. We all actually graduate from the same tiny high school called Ledgemont. They graduate just about 50 kids a year. We actually weren't too familiar familiar with each other until uh, later on, but uh, that is kind of what brought us together. So we crossed paths a few times, but it wasn't until later until we uh, became real good friends. So dare I say it was, uh, I don't want to say meant to be, but it was meant to be. You were from the same area, you grew up in the same uh, same water district, <laughs> fighting in the same gym. It, it's meant to happen. It is, it is. You know, I think, uh, you know, be, having that small town atmosphere, I think, uh, just means we all have a lot in common coming up from the same area, so we all get along really well. So. Well, tell us a little bit about your opponent coming up here, and, uh, you know, what do you know about him, and what do you think your advantages are heading in? Uh, you know what, I think, uh, well, Clint Musser, obviously, he has a great wrestling pedigree. He was actually a Division One collegiate wrestler. So uh, that brings a lot of challenges for me. Um, I would say, uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, what strengths I have is, uh, you know, I have uh, great coaches. Um, you know, corner me that night, I'm going to have two UFC vets, Tommy Walker, Jason Dan. I mean, what kind of better corner could I ask for at that time? Um, you know, they're uh, great at working with me, and, you know, we're developing a game plan that's going to work, you know, for that day. So I think that would be, uh, you know, my strength is, uh, you know, my backup, my team right here. So I think that's going to help out. Now, George, normally, you know, being you come from a strong wrestling pedigree yourself, you know, you feel like you, you obviously going into fights you have an advantage. This time around you're facing a, a former Division One guy. You know, do you ever feel like going into that it's it, you, you prefer that kind of fight, you know, where you have to keep it standing? Uh, you know, I actually uh, I look forward to it, actually. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the wrestling will see where it goes. You know, I wouldn't mind getting a takedown in there, you know, and, uh, you know, show my uh, the Division Three chip on my shoulder. But, uh, you know, this isn't wrestling anymore. Um, this is MMA. Uh, you know, we're going to see who the best MMA fighter is, not who the best wrestler is. How do you feel a win over Clint would, would benefit your career just to start out right off the bat? Uh, you know, I think uh, it's going to be a big win. Um, I think it's going to be, you know, really, uh, you know, me, him, and I would uh, say my former opponent that just got canceled was uh, Joey Holt. Um, I think uh, people consider us kind of three, uh, you know, up-and-comers in the 155 rank, so I, uh, they do want to see uh, people want to weed each other out, you know. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to duke it out and, you know, see who's going to be uh, the rising star. So it's going to be, you know, big win for whoever comes out uh, victorious that night. Certainly. And how, how long of a notice have you had uh, leading up to the Clint fight? I know you said your previous opponent backed Ooh. out. It, you know, it was rough. And uh, I've, uh, before I was probably in about a, you know, nine-week fight camp uh, for Joey Holt on uh, – July 23rd, um, that ended up getting rained out uh, because it was an outside venue. Um, Joey ended up, um, you know, backing out. I think he had some just uh, some family stuff going on that he uh, planned after the fight, which makes sense. So he couldn't fight, uh, you know, a month afterwards. So then, uh, so about a month or so, I know it was going to be Clint. Would you say it's difficult when you get such little notice about an opponent change? Or would you say that changed your game plan at all, or you think it makes it more difficult? You know, they are different fighters, so uh, you know it is going to be a uh, you know a different game plan. Uh, but then again, I guess I feel like I'm still real young in the sport of MMA. Um, this is just my uh, first pro fight, and I hope to make it a uh, you know long career. So I'm still I'm learning so much technique. I'm improving my game just so much in all different areas. So you know it mixes it up a little bit as far as game plan. But as far as my training is, you know I'm in here as much as I can and working with Jason and Donnie and just improving all my skill sets. I'm just uh, it's, I'm real young. I feel still in the game. So I'm. Uh, 
yeah, working on everything with them. Well, you've got a couple of you know a couple of great trainers there, Jason and Donnie, a couple of UFC vets, grizzled vets, been around the world. How would you think training with them has made you a more complete person, a more complete mixed martial artist? Well, I agree. Um, you know, one thing uh, you know, Jason always reminds me when I'm getting frustrated. He's like, George, you know, there's not a mistake that I that you've made that I haven't made already. You know, so he's always you know fixing me. You know, and uh, but um, again, you know, they uh, they're veterans of the sport. And, uh, you know, they're just making me better. Well, George, hey, I thank you very much for taking time out to interview with me today for cagejunkies.com. The best of luck to you. And any, any final words you'd like to give to the listening audience, sponsors you'd like to thank? Tell us a little bit about the fantastic uh, yeah, yeah. Learner. Well, uh, we have a uh, great relationship uh, with Luke from Intimidation. Um, you're sporting a Donnie Walker shirt. You Absolutely. know, Luke's a great guy. So, uh, you know, I'm sporting his uh, Jessica Evil Eye shirt. Um, would like to thank Griffin Roll Academy, Jason Dent, Donnie Walker, AJ Pulling, great guys. I have some uh, quick sponsors, if you don't mind. Let me plug. By all means. Matter Cleats, love you guys. Action Jackson, you're the man. Love you. <laughs> um, Cleveland Bar Scene, Soulless. Am I forgetting anybody? Hope not. Uh, love you guys. Um, thanks to all my friends and family for all the support. Uh, I've been training hard, so hopefully uh, this works out great for everybody. Uh, and final, final question. Last one. I know I said that last one was the last one, but I'm going to change mine. You work for the Browns part-time. When are we getting a beer at the game tonight? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what? Soda. Soda. You, uh, soda, yeah. Soda or water. Uh, but you know what? Come visit me, my man, and uh, I'll make sure that happens. I'm going to be working at the Northeast Cave. Northeast Cave. Uh, I can't have one with you, though. Too close to the place. Understandable. My wife here, who's actually filming on camera, is a Steeler fan. In Brown Country, going to a Brown game against the Packers, the team that just beat them in the Super Bowl against her, the biggest divisional. She's married to me. That obviously means that, you know, a few screws are loose. What do you think about her coming up to the to watch a football game? <laughs> you know, I think, you know, as, as long as she leaves her Steelers jersey at home for the game, I think she could, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. But if she came out there sporting the, the black and yellow, um, I don't know if she, you know, I think her uh, idea of Cleveland might be a little different than, than tonight. <laughs> I hate the Steelers. Let me show that on the record. Ah. I hate the Steelers. So you guys and us will get along just fine. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. <laughs> George, right. it's been a pleasure, brother. I definitely look forward to talking to you again. And uh, you take care, and uh, you know, good luck with everything. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, guys.